Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm super excited because we're going to be trying these. These are the Glisten Cosmetics Spectra Paints. I'm so excited to give these a go. If you are a regular watcher of my channel you know I love Glisten Cosmetics. Um, so when they were releasing these I was very excited. These are 12 mil um, and let me just double check the price because I have forgotten. Um, I think I paid about £56 for the bundle. I think the bundle's 70 and then I had a discount code on top of that. So they are £9 for a 12ml tube, which is insanely such a good deal. Um, you know, the P. Louise ones are like £14 per tube. And there's the tubes are find one these tubes are 15 grams so probably about 12 mil yeah okay so these are in mil these are in grams but they are sort of a very similar sized product um and you you sort of pay in an extra seven pounds for these ones if they're not on offer so these are definitely an incredible deal now i'm really excited about the look i'm going to create today i'm not sure how it's going to go but i am excited about it so what we're going to do first off, I'm going to take my Made by Mitchell Starker's liner pencil and I'm going to sketch out like a out wing shape on the outside of my angles. So I mean this could this could be fail number one to be honest. <laughs> but we'll see. So I'm going to basically sketch out a wing as sort of a placement to put the paints in. Now this is going to be all covered up but I would recommend using just a bit of something to draw it out first just so you know where you're going basically. So we're going to do like basically the plan is currently to do like paint splats so we've got like a rough wing drawn out I don't think you'll be able to see that because this pencil is basically the same colour as my skin okay I I'm a bit nervous I'm not gonna lie um I love products like this but I'm normally pretty safe with the way I work with them so I'm gonna give this a go it's all gonna be okay also got this new um, L'Oreal mascara to try out which I'm really excited about. Right, it is. We are gonna use like a fluffy brush. So the idea is, the concept um, behind this look is I want essentially like paint blobs off the brush. So we're going to start with white because white seems safe. Now normally I wouldn't do my base routine before I um, did this but I've literally just filmed last week's video which was a base routine. So um, yeah we're going to see how this goes. So I've got like a blob of the white one on my brush and I'm going to take it on the back of my hand and I'm going to essentially stamp it on so all the bristles, the intention is to get the bristles to separate. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we're gonna go in with the separated bristles and the, uh, my idea is to essentially stamp it on. Okay, that did not work out how I wanted it to, but basically I want it this might work better with the more um, bright shades but basically putting it on as like a little a little blob the intention is this will look like a paint palette uh, but I'm not sure that's gonna work this is P. Louise 143 by the way um, and I'm gonna try and use this for most of the colours I think because um, it seems like a good fit. Do also have the Morphe. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Hasn't got a number on it. It's like a really fluffy one, which I'm gonna do like a big, maybe bigger blobs with. <laughs> we'll see. Let's go pink. <sighs> this is nerve-wracking. 
I don't even know if you can see the little blob on camera yet. Um, but we're going to go in with the pink. This is a really incredible magenta shade. And we're going to do the same thing, like work it into the bristles. Like you would with paint, I guess, she says. I have mean, not touched a paintbrush since GCSE art. Okay, not enough on that one. No, no. This is just a, bit, a little bit of an experiment, to be honest. Um, so I thought it would be fun to film because who doesn't love a good science experiment? Right, okay, so I feel like it's quite thick on here now. But that that is the vibe. Right, okay. I wasn't using enough. <laughs> that is the answer to the question. So I'm basically like blobbing it on. And we're going to create like a, a wing shape. <laughs> is that is the plan. It might just look like a great big blob, but we've got wet liners to go around the outside, so you know. We can wear this. I really, really love the idea behind these. They, they're really great, like mixing. Um, from what I've seen on the Glisten Instagram page, they do like packs. You've got like your primary colours pack and then your cyan magenta yellow. Was that what it's called? I don't know. Um, we're going to take the blue now. The only thing I don't like about these is they, they have cute names, but they're not actually on the packaging. So, um, and I'm going to put that up here. So I dot it around again. I don't know whether you can see this on camera. This is, let's face it, I'm just completely experimenting here. See, I don't know whether this might have worked actually better with a sponge. So, you know, like a little, like, paint sponge. We're going to go, <laughs> let's do some yellow. And then I think we're also going to do some purple. So I have got all the shades here. Um, so they've also got, like, a black a black, a red, a dark blue, a green and an orange but I thought I'd use all the kind of colours that are my vibe. So we're going to do the yellow like here. Okay, I don't hate this. It's not quite what I was thinking of initially but I actually think it, it's looking really cute. Whether I should probably, let's do a little bit of purple, do a bit of shadow on top of these. I'm not sure how they set. Oh, there's a lot of purple. That purple is stunning. It's super, super deep. Oh, I feel like I'm not gonna be able to do another color after I've done this. So you know what I'm also gonna do? I'm also gonna pop out some green. This is like foresty green. And what I like about these is they're mixable. Like I would love like a, a lime green, but I can just mix mix the dark green and the yellow together. So we're gonna take the green first, I think, because that purple is gonna like eclipse everything. They are getting a bit merged together, I will admit. This is a this is a vibe. This is a vibe. <laughs> okay, I'm 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 happy. I'm happy. It's turning out well. And then we're finally gonna go in. The brush is gonna really gross murky green colour. <laughs> Lovely. Um and we're gonna go in with the purple finally. Let's just see how these have like dried down. Yeah, so they are there's a little bit of transfer still, so I'm gonna give them like another like couple of minutes to dry down. Um and then if we they don't, we might put some like rainbow shadow on top of them. And just the last shade we're putting on is the purple. I'm gonna put that like here. Okay. 
time. <laughs> this is kind of a vibe. Um, this is this is pretty cool. Okay, <laughs> I'm really chuffed with this. Um, okay, yeah. So they do dry down. I think they just take a while. Um, <laughs> and that purple is pigmented as hell. <laughs> So what I'm going to do while I'm waiting for that to dry down, we're going to take a bit of the Chroma Flakes from Glisten. This is the shade Snow, which is a really pretty like white, pinky, blue reflect. I'm just going to put some of this on the lid. This is the P. Louise brush from one of the new palettes um, that came in January's budget box. And I'm going to take like the little flat side and just whack some of this on the lid. These are almost like jelly I would describe them as um, they're very much like the Danessa Myricks what are they called oh I can't remember the name of them um, but they're really pretty so we're just gonna pack this the whole point of this look is it's messy um, so we're just gonna whack some of the shimmer on the lid doesn't matter that we've got some of the paint on the lid. We're just going to whack it on anyway. Just this is what we've got so far. I'm going to take I really the like May Tommy and Glisten Artist palette. This is the third instalment. And we're going to go in with the white, I think. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go in with the white. We're just going to take some Muffy Continuous Setting Mist and we're going to mist over. Do I want to do white or do I want to do pink? Will pink be too much? She says. <laughs> mm. Let's do white. Okay. So we're just misting that. This is a Glisten brush. This is the number eight, which is like a really long brush. And we're just going to saturate that in the pigment. And I'm basically going to line above the paint. And I'm just going to do like a line above the paints. Just, I don't know why, just cause. So we're going to go right from there and we're just going to follow the line. I'm just going to really thicken that look. So that's the way that looks. <laughs> it looks really cool. I'm actually really happy with this look. It's really like arty. Which I feel like I don't do enough. Like really creative looks. I'm really excited to go to Asda in this. Because <laughs> I'm going to do a food shop after this. So um uh, you know, I'm excited to get some funny looks in Asta, but you know, what can you do? I feel like we need something rainbow on the lower lash line. What I'm gonna do is these new, these are the Lara Fay brushes. I bought these off TikTok shop, I love them. Um, I mentioned them in my little short with my Pilo's budget box from this month and they are amazing. I'm gonna take Carnival Interstellar. And we are going to go, this is something bright pink, let's do Comet into Woke. So let's do Woke on the 
first half of the lash line. These have dried down by the way at this point so no tack and I have got a little bit of eyeshadow primer on um, just my usual just my usual NARS primer um, and then we're going to go in with Comet And I've actually like brought that up to meet the light. Hi! <laughs> Considering I did not know where this was going to go, I'm really happy with how it's come out. I'm just going to do some lashes. These are some old Eyelore Enchanted lashes. Um, I'm going to go film the TikTok with the new telescopic lift mascara. Um, and then I'm going to come back and give you my final thoughts and show you the final look. So this is the final look with the Glisten Spectra paints. I absolutely love these. I cannot wait to use them more. I love the way this look turned out. It's so cool. Um, I think these little Eyelore Dead Thin Enchanted Stargazer lashes. I think they're limited edition but they always do these like nice little wispy like light lashes look really cool with the finished look so i'd love to know if you guys have tried these spectra paints i'd love to know what you think of them because i love them um let me know if you love glisten cosmetics as much as i do because i am literally obsessed with them um and yeah that's it for me today thanks for watching guys you've been fabulous i've been call of the ball and i'll see you next time bye